Hey guys, so today I want to make a engraved keychain out of wood. I'm going to be using 1 8 maple and I've been wanting to do this for a while and I finally have a little extra time. Cheyenne's napping, Colton's at my mom's, so I'm going to throw together a little video to show you how to make a wooden keychain. Hey guys, so today we are going to make a wooden keychain. I've been wanting to make one of these for so long. So how we're going to do it is we're going to click on this A, we're going to click on the screen, and we're going to type in Lauren because that is my name and that's what I want to use. And then we're going to click on this name and we are going to go to the A on this side, on the right hand side. And we're going to go to the font Apricots because that is my favorite font right now. I'm going to make this really big so you can see it. So you can see how these little dashes, each little letter kind of goes into each other. We need to weld that because if not, when it's going to engrave, each little spot that's like this little spot this little spot this little spot it won't engrave and we want the whole name to engrave so we're going to right click it we're going to click weld and then now it's welded but th since the l is separate from a u r e n we need to select the whole name and we need to right click it again and we need to group all right and now i'm going to turn this name pink just so you can see it and now we need to offset it. So this is what's gonna cut. So we're gonna right click it. We're gonna offset. And we need a really big offset. We're gonna do 400. That'll work. Apply. So now we have this rim around the whole name. And we're gonna make that color black by clicking the color wheel and the line to make it black so now it is perfect so now we need to add a little spot for the hang hole so let's see we're going to make a little circle like this and what i did was i went to this little circle wheel right here i don't know if that was the color on it before i mean the shape but i just went right here and i picked this shape which looks like a um a paper enforcer you know you remember those where you'd put them on the little holes for your binder in school I don't even know if they sell those anymore but I'm gonna click that I'm gonna turn it black so it matches all right now that I have my circle I'm gonna position it where I want it which I like it about right here and I'm going to select the circle and just the black offset I'm not gonna grab the L A U R E N in pink so I'm gonna be careful. All right, so I just have the offset and the circle selected. I'm going to right click it and click weld. Now that welded and the Lauren's still there, I just need to send it back. So I'm gonna right click it, send back, and there it is. So now we are going to select everything, which is just by clicking the screen, pulling your mouse over everything and right clicking. We're gonna click group. And now we're gonna make it the size we want. So I want it to be about three inches. So we're gonna grab this little dot right here. We're gonna move it with our mouse until the inches at the bottom says three inches, which is about right here. 3.022 inches, that's close enough for me. So I'm gonna put it at the top of the screen and we're going to go to file, save as, save to hard drive, and we're going to save it as keychain SVG. And then save as SVG. Okay. And yes, I want to replace it. So now we're going to minimize it. We're going to bring up Internet Explorer. I'm going to type in app and it comes up app.glowforge.com. So I'm going to click enter. And I'm going to go to create new blank design. And I already have my laser on, so you see my maple wood right here. And we're going to go import artwork, upload. We're going to come right here and type in keychain, SVG, enter. And here is my design. It is going to import. It's processing. Usually only takes a second. All right, there it is. So I'm going to go to unknown. I'm going to select thin maple veneer. I'm going to go to the offset, which is cut, and I'm going to make it, I'm going to click on this arrow, and I'm going to make the speed 175, 
and it's gonna be full power. I'm gonna come to my name and I'm gonna go to engrave and I'm just gonna leave it as is, which is a thousand and 71% as power. I never really touch the engrave because it always just does fine by just leaving it as like just the regular settings. And then I'm gonna put this at the bottom of the page of the, of the wood. And I didn't mask right here because I don't know why. So I'm just gonna put it at the edge of the masking so I don't have to deal with scorch marks right here. And I'm gonna click print. So now it's gonna calculate the time that the project is gonna take. So it's preparing your print, calculating precision movement. All right, it's gonna take three minutes and two seconds. So I'm gonna send that over to the laser and I'm gonna bring y'all over there too. All right, so we got to the workshop. The light is blinking, so we're gonna click it. And the Glowforge is gonna do its thing. So I'm gonna set y'all up so I can do a little time-lapse video of it cutting it out. Let's open it up and it came out really good. So let's see if it cut through really well. Oh yeah, I like butter. All right, pretty nice. So now we need to go and untape it. Let me get my little piece out of here. We're gonna untape it and we're gonna put the little clippy right here and maybe some tassels and make it super cute. Can't really see it, there we go. Now we can see it. All right, let's go. So we are back inside and I'm going to peel off this masking tape. Don't mind my crazy looking nails. I hit this one with a um, permanent marker this morning. <laughs> it's like, really? And it won't come off. And they're just like all broken from doing stuff like this. Constantly like peeling and scratching and all that. Look how pretty, oh, it came out so pretty. I, do, I chose maple wood because I knew the, the um, engraving would come out pretty dark. And so I really wanted that contrast of dark on light. And I need to peel this. I thought I covered the whole back, but I must have left the strip. So I'm gonna have to hit this with a light sander to get those scorch marks off, but no biggie. But it came out really good. And this is um, like a 1 8 thick piece of wood. So that's what it looks like. And I get these little pieces from Condi. You put this through here, which, I, oh, I don't know if it's gonna work. I should have made this hole maybe a little bigger fit to work with this. But, actually, will it work? Eh, I don't wanna break it. Next, I'll know next time if I wanna use those to make it a little bigger, but I still can use this. So, let's try to do that without breaking the wood. That worked pretty good. Didn't even bend it or dent it or nothing. And then I have these little tassels. I order these in bulk. And let's see. Look how cute! A little wooden keychain, personalized keychain. That is adorable. I love it and I love that font. That is how you make a wooden keychain. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. All right guys, that is how you make a wooden name keychain. I think it came out very, very cute and pretty much what I was expecting it to. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. That really helps out my channel. And also if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. I would love to have you. And if you're in the market for a Glowforge, I do offer a referral code that can give you some big bucks off a of machine. And also in return, money comes my way when you use my referral code. So I really appreciate it when you do. And also everyone who has used my referral code, thank you so much. Cause it means so much that you're just throwing that love my way. And I can't thank you by name because I don't know your last name. So I couldn't like go out and find you, which that would be kind of stalkerish, but thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you see this video, I really appreciate it. And so, yeah, thank you for watching this video. And that's all I have for you today. Bye.